You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters. At this place in history, we're in Jeffersonville with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, Vermonters, New Englanders, we love our covered bridges. We're talking about one again today, right? <laughs> we do, Amanda. We've talked about a lot of covered bridges, but we're in a pretty special place here. Very specifically, we're in Cambridge Junction in the village of Jeffersonville in the town of Cambridge. Got it. Does it make sense, right? Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Right. We had a lot of these spaces grew up because of the railroad. So anytime a railroad came through, often you had uh, businesses or roads that were built to serve where that railroad crossed. Sometimes it wasn't necessarily right in the middle of town. So you have a lot of places called Junction mm -hmm. throughout Vermont. So Cambridge Junction, think of Essex Junction. And so where we are right now uh, is where all the railroad came together, but also um, some roads on one side of the Lamoille River and on the other side of the Lamoille River. So a, a guy, George Holmes, decided that he needed to connect his business on one side of the river to the railroad, so he built the covered bridge that we're going to look at today. All right, let's go see it. So we've moved inside the bridge now. What's special about this one? So this is a different kind of construction. We've looked at a number of bridges on this program, and many of them have been what we call the town lattice truss construction, mm -hmm. which was really easy for people to build, kind of the, the layman builder to put together. This bridge construction is called a burr arch truss bridge. So it was invented or patented by Theodore Burr way back in 18, I think 17, but he actually developed it in 1807. And it combines the idea of an arch bridge, like you think of a stone bridge that has arches on it, with what's called a king post trust, which is how early houses, post and beam houses, were built. And you can see that structure really easily on the inside of these bridges. So all of the bridges built in Cambridge were built in this style. So right behind us here is the arch. So rather than building the arch out of stone, the arch is built out of wood. And the arch is in two pieces and it's on either side of this framing and this framing is called king post framing and so king post means that you have these straight up and down posts that are then supported by beams that come at an angle almost creating um, triangles. Now in the past they built bridges out of just king post trust and they built bridges certainly out of stone arches but this guy Burr was the one to put them together. His thought was that the arch supported the road and the truss system supported the bridge over the road. I think there's a lot of debate about with engineers now over which is which, but both of them support you and keep you from falling in the water. So fun fact for the day, at 135 feet, this is one of the longest Burr arch truss spans in the United States. At this place in history, you're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters.